What is up everybody? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, today we got a winter seasonal release from Southern Tier Brewing Company out of Lakewood, New York. This is their Peanut Butter Cup Imperial Stout. Uh, clocking in at 10% ABV, 25 IBUs. It says um, the Anytime Treat. Peanut butter cup showcases notes of smooth, creamy peanut butter alongside bittersweet chocolate malts and milk sugar, resulting in a delicious anytime treat that tastes just like your favorite candy. Reese's peanut butter cups, my favorite candy. Um, got a best buy date on here of 11-23-23, and it is the middle of January 2023, so got plenty of time on this guy. Um, it's part of their Blackwater um, series. Been a big fan of that series of beers. For, I don't know, ever since I had, I think Chocolate was the first one I had over a decade ago. Um, I was just like, how can you get that much chocolate into a, a beer? Um, but yeah, ever since then, other releases in Mocha, the Java, I, I've been a big fan of the whole series. Um, hopefully this one will follow suit. Let's find out. Got a big whiff of that just as I opened it. I wouldn't say it's pouring pitch black because I am seeing some light coming through on this guy. Um, it looks black, but I do see some brownish kind of on the sides coming through. Not too much of a head pouring on that. Didn't really pour it that aggressive though, but. Just a small little ring of head there. Um, a little carbonation coming up. Yeah, yeah it's peanut butter. It kind of smells like... Um, it does have like a peanut butter powder uh, aroma to it. It smells kind of like... They do make like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup cereal. I'm getting kind of those vibes off of it. There is some like chocolate malt kind of coming through in there. I'm not picking up any of the alcohol coming off the nose. Yeah, mostly it's just kind of that peanut butter. Is it? What does it sound here? Natural flavors made with milk sugar. Okay. Yeah, peanut butter, chocolate. I mean, there it is. Cheers. Peanut butter cup. That's it. So up front, you're kind of hit with like kind of a generic like sweetness. Um, then it kind of fades into that mm, that um, the peanut butter, slight chocolate. Yeah. There's a peanut butter, slight chocolate. Chocolate kind of comes in again, but then at the very end, you do get that. It just tastes like uh, some peanuts. Kind of that peanut butter powder stuff. I will say it is on the sweet side. Not coyingly sweet, um, but it is a sweet beer. But I mean, it's, it's a dessert beer. It's literally candy beer. What do you expect? But yeah, they nailed it. It's peanut butter cup. Um, I wouldn't say it is exactly a peanut butter cup, but you get it. It is. It's not exactly a Reese's, but you do get all the components of that right in there. I've had a lot of peanut butter cup beers. Um, probably the most well-known or nationally distributed one, the Sweet Baby Jesus. I prefer this one over that. Um, the one thing I will say about this beer is I wish it was a little thicker. It comes off a little thin. Uh, I would say uh, like lower side of medium. 
I wish it was a, had a little bit more coating. Um, the milk sugar does provide a little bit of a mouthfeel, but I wish that this had just had a bigger, it was a bigger body beer. That's the only knock that I'll, I'll kind of give this. Yeah, it's really good. They, I mean, they they got what they were looking for. Um, it reminds me of um, kind of the um, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup cereal um, in the way that it does kind of have that uh, that peanut butter and chocolate uh, with a little bit of like leftover um, peanut butter in the back back in there. Is it my favorite peanut butter cup? Um, Beer I've ever had? No. Um, is it my favorite widely distributed peanut butter cup beer? Probably. Um, there's some local breweries that I've that are around here that have attempted this, and um, one of them really sticks out that uh, it makes a top notch one. I would put this one probably in my top three to five uh, peanut butter cup beers. Big, sweet. I mean, that's what you expect out of a, a dessert beer that is based off candy. It's a sweet beer that nails the peanut butter cup aspects. I dig it. I dig it. But yeah, if you've had this beer, let me know what you thought about it down below. Um, this is one of their, uh, I guess, 2022, 2023 winter releases. Um, they also did a, a French toast ale um, uh, as one of their winter releases. Uh, I haven't had that one yet. Maybe I'll have that one and see which one of these their things I like better. But yeah, uh, if you see Southern Tier, this one's probably hitting shelves. I'd say get this guy. Um, if you're into uh, peanut butter cups, if you're into dessert beers. But I will say it's probably... A one and done. Uh, this bottle was $3.99 for me. I think the mm, four packs ran right at mm, 15 bucks maybe. Um, but this is definitely one done. Sweetness, you don't want to have too many of these. Get the belly ache, but definitely, definitely worth a shot. I think that they killed it as far as the peanut butter cup goes. And I'm sure as this one warms up, it's probably a little... Mm, a little under room temperature. I'm sure that some more of those uh, chocolate and peanut butter flavors are going to come through. Solid, solid effort by these guys. I dig it. I'll probably go back. I'll probably go back and get get a four pack, just because uh, I mean peanut butter cups are my favorite candy, and I would love to just have these. You know, pop one open every once in a while when I'm in the mood to have a dessert beer instead of a dessert. Like right now. Cheers, everybody. I'm going to go enjoy this one. Hope y'all find one to enjoy as well.